Up for sale in that vehicle. Max, we have a beautiful 2009 Mercedes-Benz R350 4Matic all-wheel drive. Metallic blue on the outside with beige leather interior. Completely loaded up with factory navigation, color backup camera, factory DVD players on the headrest, factory panoramic moonroof, power tailgate, heated seats, front and rear parking sensors, Harman Kardon stereo sound system, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. <clears throat> We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 331. 42 is our zip code, open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, Feel free to call me. My name is George. I, be, I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Healthy set of um, Michelin uh, Latitude tires. They're not new, but they're in great shape. They definitely don't need to be replaced. All right, I'm gonna, I got the car running right now simply so I can show you the DVD that is playing. I just want to completely go around so you can see that there's no damage whatsoever on the vehicle. Okay, we got privacy tinted glass from the rear doors back. The door panels are beige and uh, mocha with the wood trimming. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel. Like I said before, power tailgate, the Hardman uh, Cardin stereo sound system. Let's go ahead and check out the um, DVD player here. And you got dual uh, DVD players on both sides with a remote control. This is a seven passenger vehicle, two in the front, three in the middle for a total of five, and two in the rear for a total of seven. All right, let's go back up to the front. We'll come back to the back in just a little bit. All right, you got uh, power seats, power recliner, and lumbar support on both sides, not just the driver's side. Automatic headlights that come on the sunset and come off the sunrise. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in perfect shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere on the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting. And there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been an smoker. You got, um, where is it? Uh, you got curtain side airbags, as well as seat side airbags. Let's go ahead and get inside and show you the rest of the options here. You also have a um, manual tap shifting mode here on your steering wheel here. So once you put it on manual shift to downshift here, you tap on this one. To upshift, you tap on that one. The vehicle has 76,596 miles. It is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer. I'm going to rev the engine. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see if the car is running and idling perfectly. And that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, nothing like that. The only light that you see on there, it's a seatbelt light because I'm not worrying about seatbelt to shoot a video. Below there, you got also the odometer reading. You have the uh, current outside temperature. Uh, <clears throat> There's your navigation, and if I put the vehicle in reverse, you're gonna get your uh, backup camera there, okay? All right, now let's go ahead and let's do the panoramic moonroof here real quick. The shade retracts toward the center, from the back and from the front toward the center, and it pretty much exposes the whole, the whole roof of the vehicle on this panoramic unit. The front portion is the one that opens up. The uh, rear portion does not open up. That's just for you to look out of. And we're going to leave it open for the duration of the video so we can get a little bit of lighting. All right, let's continue up here. You got um, uh, heated seats, high, medium, low, and off. You got storage up here. And this is your cigarette lighter, or ashtray, I should say. You got dual climate control, which means you can put one side at a certain temperature and the other side a little bit of cooler or warmer, depends on what you want. You have controls for your stereo right here. You can raise the volume here, lower the volume. Once you pair your phone, you, you can uh, hang up over here and, rate, and uh, pick up the phone over here. You got also voice commands if you hold that. Your onboard computer uh, right here for your personal settings and, uh, and maintenance issues. Everything is going to show up here and there once you start messing around with it. Okay, all the windows are one touch, meaning that you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go up or down for that matter. 
You get an auto dimming rear view mirror that has a sensor that senses bright lights. So if somebody puts their high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. Below the uh, mirror, you get your home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. Your main glove box is over here. And up here is your owner's manual with its casing and all the supplemental booklets that you need for the vehicle's operation. Down here is your uh, navigation disc uh, uh, cover. You got um, auxiliary input here for your iPod and iPod interface. Okay. And the center console here where you rest your elbow, you got a bottom tier, and this is where you're going to put your uh, DVDs, and you have also video input. And your top tier, just for smaller stuff here. <coughs> all right, let's pan over the dashboard area so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. Over here, this is going to light up from yellow to the inside and to red when you're backing up or going forward to let you know that's for your parking sensors. That's your display over there. All right. All right, let's pan over the passenger seating area, and then we'll move on to the back. I think pretty much covered everything there is to cover up here. Battery's learning a little bit low here, so that's why I'm kind of speeding up here. Um, all right, so let's do that. So now you got your cruise control over here and uh, turn signal and light uh, switch over here. All right, so let's go ahead and turn off the vehicle. And let's move to the back. Again, if I miss something that you're interested on, do you have any questions? Feel free to call me at 305-218-5462. All right, <clears throat> let's come around to this side here. All right, so we already know it's a seven passenger. Now this section back here in the middle, I'm gonna sit down so you can see, and I'm not a very short guy, uh, I'm almost six feet and it's still got plenty of room here. So the cool thing is you're gonna have uh, plenty of room uh, if you're gonna put an adult back here. Now in the back of the center console, you get AC vent for the middle row passengers and storage below in there. So this opens up to a um, storage here. Well, actually, that's an ashtray. And then down here, you got your uh, cigarette light adapters for your chargers. All right, um, let's continue on here. By the way, let's, I'm gonna go ahead and stop at every door panel. Left for your door panel, perfect shape, no cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no cracks. Got your uh, remote control for your DVD. On each side, you get anchors for your baby car seat, so you can put it on each side. And you got seat side airbags on the middle row side, side of seats here. Perfect condition. All right, you got also curtain side airbags back over here for the rear row passengers. And let's have a look at the headliner now and your panoramic moonroof so you can see pretty much it encompasses the whole roof of the vehicle. All right, you got your factory floor mats as well. All right, let's go on to the back. By the way, all your tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. You got four wheel disc brakes, tire pressure monitoring sensors, anti-lock brakes, matching Michelin tires all around, rear wiper, inside of here you got your rear window defroster. To open up your, the tailgate you can do it from the remote control, uh, your, your key fob or you can do it by just pressing the tailgate handle like I did or on the driver door there's a switch. Now these seats back here can go into, a, into cargo mode by simply pushing them, oops, I did it a little too quick. The seat here has to move up. You gotta give it enough time, not like I did. And now it lays down completely flat. So now to bring it back up, you simply pull up here. And then um, you can grab the seat and push it here. I can't reach from here, so I'm gonna do it when I get over there. Okay. You got storage and your spare tire down here. All right. You got another, uh, this one's actually uh, like uh, outlet like your house, so 115 volt. All right, to close the tailgate, you can do it by pressing here from the remote control or by pressing the switch on the driver's door. All right, right rear tail light, perfect shape. Parking sensors, two on each side of the bumper. Those are the ones that beep when you're approaching the vehicle or object and the front bumper has them too. All right, uh, right rear door panel, same way, perfect shape. Let's have another look at the interior from a different angle here. In the meantime, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and always closed on Sundays. Okay, now to uh, bring this back up here, simply reach here and push. Oops. There we go. I got to do it here. There we go. And then this one popped up how to do this with your camera on hand here, but I'm doing the best I can, folks. Live TV here. Okay, uh, so let's move on to the front. And after that, we'll conclude the video. Right front door panel, same way, perfect shape. 
You got also passenger uh, side uh, power seat and recliner. Let's pan over the seating area one more time before we conclude the video. All right, before we conclude the video, I want to talk to you briefly about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even got some programs for really rough credit. If you live a long distance away, you're concerned about the financing, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net, right on the home page, you'll see a, a tab that says